Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Friday the 7th of February 2020. We have a very interesting topic on our Seas of Destiny today. We're looking at the profit of making the right decision. Many people have failed in life because of wrong decisions. The Bible says, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. That's Philippians chapter 3 verse 13 to 14. Praise God. What's our thought for the day? The road you choose determines the place you end. It is important to know that nothing moves forward without a choice. If you wait for chance, the only result you would have is a fall. Things may fall by chance, but nothing rises without a choice. Now, let us look at the profits of decision. The first one we want to see is that decision determines destination. The road you choose determines the place you end. Choices determine your chances. Luke chapter 15 verse 11 to 32. Secondly, decision determines distinction. To take a stand is to stand out in life. David took a stand and he stood out. 1 Samuel 17, 3. Thirdly, decision brings deliverance. Luke 15, 17 to 32. And fourthly, decision cures frustration. There are choices that you make that delivers you from suffering. The choice of Peter to give up his sheep to Jesus delivered him from frustration in Luke chapter 5, verse 1 to 6. And number five is the fact that decision undergirds destiny. Where you are today is a product of the choices you made yesterday. And where you will be tomorrow will be determined by the choices you made today. Luke chapter 15, verse 11 to 32. The question is, what kind of decision what kind of decisions are critical for destiny? This is very important. Let's look at them quickly. The first one is the decision to be everything that God wants you to be in life. This is um, knowing what to do. And so whether the devil likes it or not, you must become everything that wants, God wants you to be in life. In Philippians 3, 12 to 13. Now, the second is the decision to know what it takes to be everything that God wants you to be in life. Also, from Philippians 3.10, that I may know him. All right? Now, the third thing is the decision to do what it takes to be who God wants you to be in Philippians 3.14. Our counsel is, it makes, it's important that you make a quality decision in order to fulfill destiny. Take a choice, make a decision, seek God, and when you've received the divine instruction from God, you run with it. Praise God. Remember this, that the road you choose determines the place you end in life. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment? Number one, write down your visions in the area of your life's assignment and review them from time to time and then be determined to see their manifestation. And number two, Fight everything that is trying to resist your purpose on earth at the place of prayer. And thirdly, make demands on God for the grace to fulfill your purpose in life. Praise the Lord. I'm excited. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I make demands on your help to fulfill my purpose on earth. I make demands on the release of every potential that you have packaged into me. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You want to make Jesus the Lord of your life today? I'd like to, you to pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life and be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins and make me a new person in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm excited. God bless you. 
I pray for you that pray that prayer and I declare that the hand of the Lord will go to work on your life and help you. With this decision you have made to draw closer to God, you shall fulfill destiny in Jesus' name. Don't forget to go through your Bible reading. I'm sure you are up to date. Today we're reading Deuteronomy 23 to 26. That's 23, 24, 25, 26. So you can see that from January, we've dropped down from five chapters a day. We're now on four chapters a day. And by March, April, ending of March, April, we'll be, we'll be down to three chapters a day. And by the time we've done three chapters a day for the rest of the year, you're through with the Bible by the end of the year. Are you not enjoying, enjoying this lineal reading? I believe that God will help every one of us in Jesus name. Don't forget to pause and take time to study specific things that you see and that you know pops up at you while you're reading the Bible. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. a place of revival. It is a place